It was a slow process throughout my life that really was instigated by art. And this is one of the things I think as a Dean of Arts and Sciences that I get to experience and represent so many fields. It was through music. And when I was a teenager, I was a punk rock kid. Uh, punk rock music is very political. And I latched on very early to hip hop. Of course, you know that that's very political, particularly in those early iterations, was very political, socially aware. And so I think seeds were planted there about what inequality was, what power was, how government could be good or bad. I, I didn't really give a lot of deep thought to it because I didn't have direction. It's just music. You know, you go into a show or you're, you're mm -hmm. skateboarding whatever you're doing. But then when I got through college, and really in college, I mean, there were some professors who really pushed in this direction, but I went to college in the 80s and 90s. I won't say that. I went to college a little while ago, and it was a different time. I had really good professors who pushed me to think. It was really when I got to graduate school, and again, I credit you know people like Chuck D from Public Enemy and I had and Tribe Called Quest. I think about uh, The Clash and some of these early bands that, that were so important. I was ready to receive scholarly information now about these same dynamics that they were representing through their art form, mm -hmm. right? I was ready for that. And I get to graduate school and I start to struggle with some of these concepts. And then I meet my now 20 year co-author in, in the year 2000 at Princeton University while we're both there teaching in a summer program, Charlton McElwain, who's now one of the vice provosts at New York University. And he and I have um, <clears throat> worked together on scholarship for 20 years, almost 20 years now. Through that work with him and starting to apply my political science training to questions of inequality, questions of racism in particular. And then if there was a defining moment for me uh, where it started to click in a more meaningful way, I think some people will be surprised to hear this because it was late. I was already sort of bought in theoretically, mm -hmm. but really when it started to get hammered home was in the last 10 years. I was invited at one point by uh, David Wilson, who's a professor and a, and a dean at the University of Delaware, to come to a meeting at the National Conference of Black Political Scientists. So this is an organization that was started over 50 years ago because black political scientists weren't well incorporated or welcomed in, in the major uh, mainstream uh, white uh, political science organizations. And they still continue to meet. And it's almost always black people that go there. There's some Latinos that go there too, but it's mostly black people. And uh, I was invited because of my scholarship to be on a panel. And I've gone almost every year since. Uh, and I just learned so much because the political science that I got in my PhD program, like most people, was not centered in the black experience, wasn't centered in otherness. It was centered in, you know, this sort of a sterile, clinical, uh, really statistical way of understanding government. And, and those tools are important. And, and black political scientists use them as well as any anyone better in a lot of cases. But the stories that are being told and the experiences that are coming through, there's a saying because of NCOPES. NCOPES is the acronym, Black Conference of Political Scientists. And I think about that weekly, really. Um, it, it's sometimes daily about how much I've learned from being a part of that community and being welcomed into that community as a learner. And so that was, you know, that's only really been the last 10 years. And I, I tell you that way because I don't know what's going to happen in the next 10 years. You know, what other things are going to propel me to greater depth, greater understanding? Because I know there's so much more that I need to learn.